Well, if you're here searching for episode three, I'm pleased to tell you, you've come to the right place. Okay, well, the news, as always, starts with an update on the 24 Hours of Freedom LEGO stop motion video. I took another 152 photos since the last video, so that's an extra six seconds. So we're now up to one minute and three seconds. And as the song lasts for just under three minutes, that means there's still quite a lot to go before it's completed. In other news, I got a copy of Rock Hard magazine from Germany, which has a review of 24 Hours of Freedom. It's sitting here in the the demos section i did actually email them last year and said uh, any chance of reviewing our album in the the, the, the the normal section but they said it has to come from a record label from that not from you but anyway there it is obviously i can't speak german but i'm sure it says it's absolutely splendid and everyone should just stream it on a constant loop on Spotify or Amazon or wherever they listen to their music. And uh, in other news, um, we were back in the studio this weekend. The studio is a bit, because of Covid, it's a bit like Noah's Ark at the moment, as you can only go in two, two at a time. So bass and drums were being recorded for five new songs, which should make up our sixth album, which will hopefully be released sometime later this year, depending on getting getting it mixed so that is all the news right time for another vantage point riff and as usual we head over to the kingdom of fife and mr liam king and this time he's playing global delay from our tomb of the eagles album so take it away Okay, for this episode's story of the song, we're looking at um, Shetland Driller Killer, which was one of the first new songs written for the Tomb of the Eagles album. After the Daredevil on the Shroud album, we went and to the studio and recorded four brand new songs which were newly written, three of which ended up on the Tomb of the Eagles, and one was held over to the Demonic Dinner Dance album. So Shetland Driller Killer was, um, I believe, written about a dentist in Shetland called Stephen Lamb, hence the changing Shetland to Shet Lamb. And um, I don't believe he was a driller, he was a serial killer, but obviously Murray wanted to embellish the story somewhat to make it a bit, a bit more interesting. And um, we first played this, at this right at the start of 2009 and then it was included on the Driller Killer EP, which was released in well, it should have been released in June 2009. Unfortunately, that's when we, we held the launch gig, but unfortunately the, the CDs didn't turn up. Hoover, the company I used at the time, I think were having some money troubles. Um, so I I get the impression they were they used the money I paid for the, for the, the CDs to manufacture someone else's CDs, and then when they got subsequent money, in the, the manufactured hours, so it turned up a few weeks late. And then I, I read on forums, I think they went bust, so luckily we weren't further down the chain because I'm sure some people didn't get their CDs at all. So it made the launch gig a bit of a damp squib. Um, I think this song, I'm, I'm not sure, I think I might have done backing vocals on Go To Hell, but I didn't put any credits on the Daredevil album, but I, so Shetland might have been the might have been the first song which I did some backing vocals for. 
and it's there's there's only four lines in the song which I do live and I can never remember them so it's lucky I'm not the lead singer because um, I think I'd struggle with a whole set worth of lyrics so I think it's see I can't even think what they are now Hell on Earth is one of the lines and sick from birth and proved his worth roles reversed I think that's the first one I usually get the first two right and then I get to the, the third one and I can't I haven't a clue so I end up just singing don't know the words or, so, or something along those lines so the, the version on the Driller Killer EP is an edit we took out the the intro and just because we, we wanted to be able to put extra stuff on the album which wasn't already on the EP but by the time we got around to doing the album we'd we were coming out we were pairing Shet Lamb with Obedience School so he came out of Obedience School into Shet Lamb Driller Killer via the edited version so we weren't playing the intro so we put the intro back into the version that's on the album but we actually put it at the end of the song we just the beauty of Pro Tools these days we just cut it and paste it at the end so if you listen to the, the album version you, when it plays a bit of music that you haven't heard any other time in the song that's the what was the intro which is now basically the outro and if you look at the cover of the Tomb of the Eagles album you can see that Stephen Lamb is on one of the gravestones so obviously by the time the album came out his uh, patient city dentist had had enough of him and had him done in if you also look at one of the other gravestones there's the the guy from the front cover of the Daredevil album and that kind of symbol if you, you can actually see it on many of our album covers if you have, have a look not all of them but most of them so that was Shetland Driller Killer which appeared on the Driller Killer EP and then on the Tomb of the Eagles album all right for this episode's clip from the archive so we're going back to 2012 and we visit to Electric Studios which is just out near Pennycook who recorded two songs this is um, Murray doing the vocals for one of those songs Reverse the Charges which uh, subsequently ended up on the High Maintenance Girlfriend EP and then the Demonic Dinner Dance album so here he is If I said I loved you madly would you think of me so badly Anna If I said I loved you sweetly would you reverse the charges and let me get sleazy Reverse the charges I wanna get sleazy Reverse the charges Reverse the charges, it's free and easy. Reverse the charges, till I'm spent. Ooh, I'm spent. Welcome to this new exciting part of the Vantage Point video blog, where we go out and about in Edinburgh. For this episode, we've come to the edge of the Gyle Industrial Estate in this lovely field, where um, I believe some hogweed is growing. And in the background, you can see they're building some new offices and flats which will be very popular post-Covid now that businesses have realised how cheap it is to have people work from home. OK, back to the studio. OK, this is about the 20th take of this. I need to get one of those auto-cue things where you can just read. I think I can do reading out loud. It's clear I can't do speaking and thinking at the same time. But anyway, the top five of something returns to this episode, having a missed out last month because it was what I did was quite rubbish you didn't think there was quality control involved in these videos but there is anyway this is the top five seven inch singles you probably didn't think I would own so at number five we have Aha with the Living Daylights it's not much to look at it's clearly an ex jukebox copy but um, it's the best Bond theme tune from the best Bond film featuring the best Bond actor. At number four, and the only one I had real doubts about showing, is uh, Kylie Minogue, The Locomotion. Obviously Kylie's career peaked with her appearances in Neighbours and The Locomotion. And it's been all downhill ever since, and she's done nothing of note since 1988, I guess. Yes, 1988. At number three, Black Lace and Do the Conga. I could have 
possibly going for their more famous Agadoo, which may be in that box as well. But this one's got a really good B-side on it, Hey Hey Copenhagen, which is nearly AOR rock and features an excellent guitar. So, at number two, uh, Back to Neighbours, with Suddenly from Angry Anderson, which is actually just a fantastic tune. And if you watch Now 80s, they sometimes show the video for that, and the guitar player's got an amazing mullet. But number one is I Want to Be a Winner by Brown Sauce, who were, of course, the presenters from Swap Shop. And uh, the B-side to that is the Swap Shop theme tune, which is, again, it's got an excellent guitar solo. But I Want to Be a Winner's got a great guitar riff, and any record that tries to rhyme Kevin Keegan with Ronald Reagan, it's, it's got to be good. You can actually see there's no record in that because it's on my turntable. So that was a top five similar singles you probably didn't think I owned, but I do. So anyway, that is the end of another exciting episode. As always, likes and subscriptions to the channel are much appreciated. Now, I can hopefully get this right because I'm thinking all the space is on this side. So if you go here, you should see a live video of us playing Shetland Driller Killer. And if you come down lower, you can listen to the studio version with the intro as the outro. Thanks again for watching. Should you have made it all the way to, to the end and see you for episode four.